All right, just got out to the property where my cameras are hung. I'm gonna swap out some cards. We've gotten zero rain in the last two or three weeks, so not really a chance to look for any new tracks on the ground or anything like that. Bucks should be dropping their velvet anytime now. Some hold it a little longer, but the velvet should be off. These beans are really getting munched down here on the edge of the field. I have a trail that cuts in right here. Kind of keeps me away from the bedded bedding areas. If there's acorns falling, I'm gonna actually move a camera right now. There's a couple big oaks loaded with acorns and I'd rather be by the acorns with my camera than on a trail. Just because that'll bring all the deer in by itself. So there's a stand. I've got a stand right here. It's at the top of a good sized ridge actually. Nice steep ridge here. Do you walk this trail? This is this big oak tree right here. These low big acorns. So I see a couple caps on the ground. That means they are falling in here. There's one right there. Alright, I have a 189 pictures. 189 pictures right here. That's that's awesome. I'm gonna leave it here. That's a lot of pictures. that the acorns are falling in here. I've got 306 pictures on this camera. I'm leaving this camera here too. Hopefully the pictures aren't all from the wind. And these big oaks are right on the edge of this field. They're gonna go hit the acorns and then once it starts to get dark out, they're gonna come in here and hit these beans. These beans are mowed down. Stuff in there is mowed down. Um, like I said, there hasn't been any rain, so everything most things are bone dry. I gotta stand on a big puddle over by my truck way over there. Or not really a truck, but my vehicle. Should be decent. I'm gonna get back to the car and we'll go through these pictures. I got a lot of pictures to go through, so I'm gonna do that right in the car. So this card right here was in a spot where I have the biggest buck I've ever seen um, in this woods. Um, it was two years ago. It was a 16 pointer. Whoa, whoa! It was two years ago. It was like a 16 pointer. Um, it wasn't that old of a deer, but it had a good size rack. It's probably only a two and a half or maybe a three and a half year old deer. Um, so I'm gonna check this card first. Dude, one of the best things is checking trail camera cards. It's like, you just don't know what's gonna show up. Especially the first couple pulls of the year, you just hope that there's a good deer or two good deer left from last year. Um, we had a couple nice deer in here last year. Didn't see them on the hoof, but got some pictures of them. Um, so I'm hopeful that those two deer are still in here. I caught some tracks of them later in the year when I was scouting and stuff. I nailed down the bedding areas of these bigger deer. So hopefully they're still in here. Here we go. First picture of a deer on here is a little blurry. I don't know if you can see it on that camera. I'll pull it up and put it on the video as well. Decent deer. Might be a three and a half year old actually. Maybe a two and a half. He might be three and a half. That's a deer. I'm pretty excited about that. That is um, 7.50 at night. Just at last light kind of. 
Hopefully he shows back up. All right. One good buck in there. One good buck. A couple other two and a half year olds. A bunch of other little basket racks. Pretty happy with that pole. I'm just glad there's one decent deer in here that I would shoot. He might only be two and a half. I don't know. It's hard to say. But he looks decent. He's an eight pointer. It's probably like 115 inches or something. But around here, that's not terrible. I would shoot him. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Hopefully, I have more pictures on this other camera of him. He's on there twice, so he lives near there somewhere. That was a card with 189. This next one has over 300 pictures on it. It's a spot where I know that sometimes deer will sit in there and browse. There might be a lot of repetitive pictures. Hopefully it's not all wind, because that would suck. Nothing worse than pulling your cards and having 500 pictures of wind. And me. Ha. That's weird. Known buck bedding area. Nobody's been in there. I've gotten trespassers in there, like kids that sneak in there and play paintball. That which was last year, and I had bucks bedded all over in there all the time. This year, nobody's been in there. No pictures of anybody. No tire tracks or anything. And I think one or two little bucks on the top there on camera. The bottom was mostly bucks up on the top was mostly dough interesting I almost want to go move that camera nope I'm going to leave it there I'm going to leave it there I'll pull it after the opener in two weeks that's when I'll do it I know where I'm hunting opening day got to hunt the bottom there Yep, got to do it. Got to hunt the bottom. Obviously a little disappointed with that second card pull. Um, I didn't get any of the big bucks that I was hoping on it. I got a decent buck on the bottom. I need to see some more pictures of him, though. He just looks skinny, but his rack looks nice. So I got to look at that one some more. Deer season starts in two weeks. Start getting all your stuff ready. Get your stuff out hanging outside. I'm going to pull my stands out this weekend. Put them in the back on the pile, uh, pile of uh, wood. Um, all my camo, going to wash it up. Let it air dry. Let it air out for a few days. Um, clean out my scent-free tote. And uh, get ready to go for opening day. I don't think I'm going to sit up here on this water opening day. I'm going to go in the morning at least. I'm going to go sit in the woods where I had, where I see all those bucks cutting through there. So I'm actually not going to be, I'm probably 50 yards from that camera, but that main trail they're using uh, goes through and it gives me about a 30 yard shot to that trail from my tree stand. So yeah, I'm pumped up. Let's go. Bring on the season. <laughs> This is a chest time ride. And this is a bad ride.